Hey guys, welcome back. Today, Apple just released iOS 11.3 beta 3. So let's go ahead, jump in and take a look and see what's new in this release. So I just went ahead and updated my iPhone 8 Plus to 11.3 beta 3. Uh, before updating, I did check and it was 363.4 megabytes. So a pretty decent size uh, beta update for a, uh, you know, a dot update from Apple. Uh, beta 3 hopefully should resolve some of the issues. Uh, I was having really bad battery life and some uh, stutters here and there with some animations across the entire OS. So hopefully it's quite a big update. Hopefully this can address uh, some of the issues that most people were having. Um, before updating, I did have 50.68 gigs available and after updating 50.76. So I did gain a little bit of storage back on my iPhone 8 Plus. Uh, it doesn't really matter though because I had 50 gigs available as it was. But if you are running on a device uh, that doesn't have as much storage as these newer ones, uh, you know, after updating to these newer firmwares, having that extra bit of storage uh, is pretty nice. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention on my video about Beta 2 is that when you go into settings, accessibility, display accommodations, and turn on invert colors, smart invert, and then go into Safari, uh, some of the images in Safari are no longer reversed. So let's go ahead and check that out. So if I go on apple.com, um, it still looks like they're, still looks like they're reversed here. So Apple uh, still hasn't perfected uh, iOS 11.3. I thought the smart invert was gonna fix some of the images on Safari. Um, doesn't look like it has. Either it fixed it on 11.3 beta 2 and then it took it away on beta 3 or I'm just having some issues with my iPhone here. But uh, anyway, smart invert still uh, inverts the icons and some images here. But when you're in actual websites, it doesn't invert the images on the website. So hopefully that can be fixed in a later beta. I did think that that was fixed here, but I guess not. So we can go ahead and turn that back off. Uh, something I did read on the Apple website is that the iPod Touch 6th generation is now supported on iOS 11.3 Beta 3. So if you were on the iPod Touch 6, you were able to get Beta 1, not Beta 2, but now with Beta 3, you can get uh, iOS 11.3 Beta 3 uh, on your iPod Touch running the latest beta, so that is good. Um, just regular usage here, I'm gonna have to do a follow-up video on this because um, you know, these general animations are usually uh, the same on every OS version. I do this on every video. It's really hard to tell how performance is until I use it day to day. I do know that I started to install the update around 94%, so it did take up about 3% uh, during the install process. Uh, other than that, guys, I don't think there really is anything new in iOS 11.3 Beta 3. Of course, this update is just about stability because, uh, as you know, iOS 11 has not been the most stable release from Apple. It's kind of weird that we're already at February and we're already at 11.3. Uh, so we've had three major dot updates from Apple and we're only at February. So uh, hopefully the later betas uh, can fix some of the issues that people were having with this release. If you do find anything new, tell me in the comments below. Also hit me up on Twitter. Uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching this video. My name is Mike. Hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.